the Atom Stack A5 Pro, air assist I added. I had some questions about this, about exactly how I did it. So I'm going to give you a close up of what I did coming up. Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop. What I have sitting in front of me right here is my Atom Stack A5 Pro. And I have done a lot of modifications on it. And one of the things you may have noticed from my first modification video, I had this drag chain for the X axis going up. And I did turn it sideways. I wanted to lay it all the way flat and have it come over and wrap up around. But the wires aren't long enough and I didn't want to lengthen the wires. So I have it horizontal. Works fine. Uh, one of the questions I had, I've had quite a few of them, both email and in comments, is how did you do this air assist? Did you have to drill in the aluminum housing on the laser head? And yes, I did. And yes, that voids the warranty. But I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. The other question I always get is why you got a sweatshirt on in your shop? Well, this is why. I only keep it 55 degrees down here in the winter. So I'm perfectly comfortable working in this sweatshirt. I don't sweat. And it's okay. It's warmer upstairs in the loft, but not down here. So we'll get a close-up of this. Okay, starting with this, uh, this is still mounted on the laser, and I did a little test engrave on a piece of scrap cedar there to uh, try out a different speed and everything for uh, some photo-type laser engraving. This is just a test piece. It's not a finished product. What I'm going to show you here is this little bracket up here came from Thingiverse. I don't know that it was exactly for this laser. This is not exactly for this laser. This is for something else. And it was made to snap in to uh, fit uh, the base of a laser. I cut those little ears off the end and I drilled a hole in the laser head here, which I'll show you in a minute from the bottom side. Then I had to drill and tap two holes into the laser housing to mount this. Then the tube mounts right to that. Yes, I know the screws are not exactly across from each other and parallel and up and down and all that, but it is what it is and this works. So let me take this head off. I'll give you a close up of how it was drilled. Okay, I hope this shows up good. This is kind of hard to get a good camera angle on. You see right here, about a half inch up, I drilled a 5 16 hole at an angle, about a 45 degree angle, down towards the base. This is how it allowed that nozzle to come through. I had to do a little kind of uh, guessing on this to get that airstream right into where the laser was cutting. And this does work out perfect. And I'll put links to these pieces here, these 3D printed parts in the uh, description. But yes, I, as you see, I did have to drill that housing. And I drilled and tapped two holes. These happen to be 832 screws because, just because I had that tap and drill handy and it was already pretty much set up. You could use 632s. You could use metrics. Three millimeter would be plenty. And I do have metric taps, but as I said, this was handy. Okay, another question I had was if that air assist bothers setting the height. No, it doesn't. I made sure this bracket did not protrude past the end of the aluminum housing. So here's that two millimeter spacer thing there. So as you can see, it, it does not interfere at all. Another thing I was asked is how did I mount this drag chain on? This is a bracket I made, 3D printed. And the drag chain then attaches to it. Move the head out of the way here so you can see that a little better. Right here, a couple three millimeter uh, machine screws down there. And so three millimeter screws here. Screw directly into this 3D printed part, which holds the drag chain. If you go back to my other video, and there'll be a link on the end on how I did these modifications and where I got the parts. Okay, how does the drag chain mount to the stepper motor? This is a 3D printed bracket. It does snap on. It Probably would stay there, but I did put a tie wrap on the back side. And this bracket just simply screws into that. Three millimeter machine screws. I'll give you a little close up over here on the other end. OK, 
Okay, right here at this end, you can see where this uh, bracket mounted. This is the other one that clips around the stepper motor. As I said, it does snap on and it kind of stays there, but I did put these tie wraps around it just to make sure. By tie wraps, I mean zip ties. I'm an electrician. We call them tie wraps. That's how that's routed. The air hose and the wiring runs through this drag chain here. And I added the drag chain here, and it also has the air line running through it, which then comes up over the stepper motor, follows the next drag chain. The mount of the drag chain at the other end near the controller is the same uh, printed part that I printed for the x-axis. Mounts the same way, the drag chain mounts to it. There again, for a list of these parts, there'll be a little link window on the, at the end of the video that you can link to the uh, video I did on when I did these modifications. So I hope that answers your questions and maybe further explains exactly how I did this air assist. I know I've had a whole bunch of emails on this and there's been a couple things in comments wanting to know exactly how I did that. So that's how it was done. And yes, it does void the warranty on that laser head. So keep that in mind if you're going to do that. But I could not find or think of any better way to do this because of the way that head is built and surrounded with the guard to prevent the, somebody from looking at the laser beam. So, I mean, I think it's an excellent design, but I wish they would have uh, come up with either a built-in air assist or a little bit maybe a, a hole made a, ahead of time or another window that could have pop off or maybe they weren't thinking of that. Don't know, but this works very, very well. So there again, I hope this answers the questions about that and how these drag chains were mounted. Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.